Hello WPC fans, I'm Rob from Car.US Circuits. Today I'm going to demonstrate the various indications in the new and improved 2017 software installed on the pro version of my WPC PowerFix daughter board. Of course, these circuits boards are available today from www.car.us. That's K-A-H-R dot U-S. I am going to refer to a graphic found here on my website as we walk through the daughter board's functionality. We'll start with the startup sequence on the left side, move to the steady state in the center, and then through each of the possible voltage error indications. We'll use a test bench setup to step through these states because hoping for them to occur while the board is installed in one of my machines probably isn't the best use of video time. Let's start. I've got a daughter board here connected to a simple 12 volt power supply. Next, I have a variable regulator hooked up to the sensing pin on that daughter board. And that will allow us to control what the daughter board sensor sees so that we can step through the error indications. Cool? Since we're already in the first state, let's start. Everything is off and the LEDs are off. That's the top left in the graphic. Keep in mind the three startup states happen very quickly in a pinball machine, like in less than a second or two. Using the variable regulator, I'll be able to slow down some of the startup sequence to show you what they look like. In this setup at power on, both the red and green or both the red and blue LEDs are illuminated and the blue LED quickly turns off. Ready, go. Immediately at turn on, both the blue and red LEDs are, are, in, are turned on while the supplies are rising to their intended voltages. We step through the supply rising startup state quickly because my 12 volt supply quickly ro rose to its full value. But by using the adjustable regulator and holding that at 4.5 volts or so, I've been able to trap the daughter board in the second of the startup states where the red light is indicated. Now let's raise the five volts and see this daughter board step up into the steady state. Simply by turning this in the right direction, that's the wrong direction. There we go. We're now up in the 4.9 range and we have a green daughter board in a steady state. When installed in your machine, the daughter board may stay in this steady state for minutes, for hours, or even longer. It just depends on how resilient your PDB supplies are and how much instantaneous demand the machine places on those supplies. Remember that with a daughter board installed, there is a reduced load on the otherwise heavily loaded 5 volt supply because the MPU is now powered by the lightly loaded 12 volt digital supply. This improved balance of loads across the available power supplies is why so many people were choosing to install a daughter board before any reset symptoms even begin to materialize. Now onto the error state. Let's start by taking the 5 volt high up to about 5.6 volts so that we can see the green flashing state the first state shown on the graphic. Taking it up a little higher, there we go, you can see the 5 volts is up around 5.6, you can see the flashing green and we're in that state there. Next, let's also take the 5 volts low so that we can go down to the red plus green flashing shown in orange there. So this would be down below 5 volts and there we have it. I want to point out that on the graphic, I show LEDs that are half green and half off, or half red and half off, as indicating flashing. Now, before we finish this first sequence of tests, we're going to hit this last state, which shows the blue LED on with both the red and green. So to accomplish that, we're simply going to turn off the 12 volt supply until voltage collapses low enough, which would happen pretty quickly, to get the blue light to come on. 
And as I turned it back on, the power supply back on, you could see that the indications that all happened, even though the 12 volts is high or is, is normal again, let's take the um, 5 volts up to normal again, the indications are still happening, meaning that you don't have to be watching in real time to see these results. So, let's reset this daughter port by power cycling it and bringing it back to the green is good state. We're watching the voltages collapse here and here until the daughter board's off, and then we'll turn it back on. And you can see how quickly it goes to the green is good at a, a power cycle. This time, we're going to get to the second, the fourth, and the sixth state in the list. By dropping the 5 volt line below 4.6 and then down to 4.15. Here we go. So let's drop it a little low first. Okay, there's the solid red, so that is state two. Let's drop it a little lower to the, that's barely above four volts. And you can see the blinking, so that's the second state there, or the fourth state on the list, the flashing red. And then finally, let's use the power cycling of the 12 volt supply again to get to state six, which has the flashing red plus the blue. Finally, let's reset this daughter board one more time. Bring the power up so that it goes to the steady state. And then we'll reach the last two states, blue and blue with red. To reach blue, we'll use the same trick we used before of turning off the power supply momentarily. And there you see it, we're at blue. And then to get red, We'll just adjust the 5 volts down. And there you have it. So that's my walkthrough of the new indications in the WPC PowerFix Pro daughter board. Keep in mind that if you come and visit me at one of the shows, you can bring your daughter board that has a copyright 2016 indication printed on it and I will be able to upgrade your daughter board to the new software. I will be at shows such as the Texas Pinball Festival and at Allentown this spring. I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to order your board at www.car.us. Just simply adjust our adjustable regulator until we get up around 5 volts and it didn't go green. Why wouldn't that go green? Hmm, that's not good. How could that be possible? Oh, because the wire's disconnected.